Hi Kate! In this video we're going to go over how to apply multiple levels of subtotals in Excel 2013. So I have just some faked data here where I've got three categories and then a value. So I want to first sum up the value for each of my colors. Then for each color I want the total of my different fruits, and then for each fruit subcategory of the color, I want to know the sum for Alex and the sum for Elsie. So first thing, anytime you want to do subtotals, you have to sort the data. So since I am going to be doing three levels of subtotals, I'm going to want to sort by three different columns. So I'm going to select my range, then go to the Data tab, in the Sort and Filter group, choose Sort. So I'm going to sort by color first, because that's my largest category, add a level. So then, within each color, so all of my reds are going to be together, but then within that sort, I want to sort the fruits. So I'll choose my fruits, and then add a level, and choose sort of the smallest category. Click OK. So now I've got all of my colors blocked together. Then within each color, it's sorting my fruits alphabetically. And of course, each time my color changes, my fruit sort is restarting. And then within each color and fruit subcategory, and sorting it by my names. So now I'm ready to apply subtotals. So I'll again select my range, still on the data tab, this time in the outline group, I'm going to click on subtotal. So at each change in color, use the function sum. If I wanted to do a different function, like I wanted to do an average, I could change it. Add the subtotal to, so what am I using this function on? What am I summing up? Value, so I'll leave that checked. Then just click OK. So now it's giving me the total of my orange, red, and yellow. Now I'm ready to do that second level. So within the orange, I want to know the total for my fruits. So I'll leave my data selected. Go to the Data tab in the Outline group, click on Subtotal again. And this time, I'm just going to change the Add Each Change In. So I'll do my second level, that second column I sorted by. Choose my function. But I'm going to make sure I uncheck Replace Current Subtotals. Unchecking this checkbox is what is going to allow me to have multiple levels. So I can click OK. Now I can see my orange total has stayed the same. But, within the orange subgrouping, I have the various totals for my fruits. So I can do this again, by just clicking on subtotal again, changing my at each change into that third column I sorted by, make sure that replace current subtotals is still unchecked, and click OK. And if I had more values to sort by, I could continue adding these subtotals, or I could even add just additional functions. So I've got my sums for my color, fruit, and name. Let's say I also want to know the value, or the average rather. So I select everything, go back into subtotal. I'll leave the at each change in at name, but I'll change the function to average. Still with replace current subtotals unchecked, click OK. So now I get both the sum, the total, and the average. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call.